In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Helium 10 for keyword research. And specifically, I'm going to be showing you how to use Magnet2 or Magnet Squared for your keyword research. Now, why is it important that you do your keyword research? Well, this stage is for when you have found your product or you're thinking about selling a specific product on Amazon or you're already selling on Amazon. Now, why do you specifically need to look at keywords and why do you need to look at the research behind it? Well, it's because if you don't do this, people are not going to be able to find your product and actually go ahead and buy your product. So it's super, super important that you focus on the keyword research. Welcome to the channel, my name is Vic JC and if you wanna see more videos like this one, make sure you smack that subscribe button. So where would you use and put all of these keywords? Well, there are a number of different places to put all of these keywords so people can actually find and buy your product that you're selling on Amazon. But mostly you're going to be using this in your PPC campaign and you're also going to be using this within your listing so people can find you. So let's dive straight in and go over to the keyword research tool Helium 10 Magnet. So what are we going to use as an example first? So let's say you've settled on selling baby burp cloths. Now these are baby burp cloths. If you wanna find out what they specifically are, just go and type them in on amazon.com and you can see exactly what they are. So I'm not going to go into detail on that, but let's head over to Helium 10's uh, Magnet tool. So you'll see here on the left hand side when you're actually logged in. And again, if you don't have this program, you can get the free trial with the link I put in the description and you can also get your 50% off. We're going to click on Magnet 10 or Magnet, sorry, Magnet 10, Magnet 2 or Magnet Squared, which is the keyword research tool for Helium 10. Now I've gone ahead and typed in Baby Burp Cloth. And all you need to do is type in Baby Burp Cloth and get your keywords. Now, a lot of people will think, hang on a second, I'll just go down here, I'll just copy all of these words, and I will put them into my listing, I'll put them into the SEO backend of the Amazon Seller Central account, and I'll also put them into a PPC campaign. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, that's not going to work. So what you need to do is be more specific. Now, let me show you why. You cannot go ahead and have 3,995 words. The reason I say this is because you're not going to be able to create a listing, for example, this. Let's go into one of these products. This looks kind of good. Um, you're not going to be able to fit all of those words within the title. So you've got 3,995. You're not going to be able to fit all of those words within the title. You're not going to be able to put that into the bullet points. And you may be able to put that into the description section. This is probably not a good example, actually, because this is a branded listing, so this is probably not a good example. But in one of the others, you'll have a description section where you will only be able to put a limited amount of words. Let's pick another product. Uh, let's go ahead with... Oh, what happened? Let's go ahead with this one over here. So, as you can hopefully see, yeah, look, here is what you can put in the product description. You're not going to be able to put in 4,000 words into this product description as well. And you're unlikely to be ranked because Amazon won't allow you to do that in the back end of this. So when you're actually in your Amazon Seller Central account, you're not going to be able to put all of that in. So what do you need to do and how do you actually go about focusing on what keywords you actually need. Well, the first thing to do is to eliminate some of these words. So the first thing I want to do specifically is actually just go back to page one because I went over to page two and I'm going to reduce this number massively. And I'm also gonna tell you how many words you should have. So what are we gonna do to reduce this? The first thing I want to do is have a minimum search volume. So let's start off with a minimum search volume of 300 and an unlimited maximum search volume. Now we've got 4,000 keywords here. Let's see how much that reduces those keywords. Great, so we're now down to 408 and this is something we can definitely work with. Now, if you know, this is a little bit advanced, but if you know the words that definitely are not related to your product but people possibly could search for, you can exclude them in this section over here but if you definitely want to include some words, you can also put them in here. But at this stage, if you're a beginner, if you're new to this, I just try and keep it really simple and keep it broad. So the next thing we want to do is find out which of these keywords is actually truly relevant to the product that we're actually uh, selling. So we're selling burp cloths, right? 
we want to make sure that the words that are coming up over here are relevant to our product. Now, you can take a guess and go, hang on, baby registry search is not related. But how do you know that for sure? You don't actually know that. So what you really want to do is you want to click on this button over here. So on the right of this, it will open up amazon.com and it will show us the search of baby registry search, as we can see there, and it show us all of the products within this search. Now, as you can see, there is a bunch of random products. There are some products that could be relevant if you want to class it as that. I don't see it as very relevant. A relevant page would be something that looks like this. Everything or most things on the page will be baby burp cloths or something very, very close to it. And as you can see on this one, it's not relevant because there are a lot of various different products. So these are gifting type products, um, which your product can be, but you don't want to waste your keywords and the amount of words that you actually have on words like baby registry search. You want to get words that are highly likely to convert to when people are searching for an example, baby burp cloth, they are highly likely to be wanting a baby burp cloth. And when they see your product, they go ahead and buy it. And that's what you want to do when you're looking at your keyword research. So the Helium 10 magnet tool will allow us to eliminate some of this. So all we need to do is get rid of that. Now, baby boy clothes. Baby boy clothes will be relevant, but in all honesty, if you actually open this out, you will see that it's quite random. These are more clothes than burp cloths. These are more clothes than burp cloths. So what we want to do again is eliminate that. So anything that's really broad, you want to get rid of. Baby boy, baby clothes, you want to check that out. I'm just going to eliminate it now. Burp cloths, look, we've got a great one. So don't worry about all of the ones we've just eliminated because we can see that baby cloths, the search volume here is 44,285 and that's a big one. And we want to go ahead and rank for that. So let's open that out and you'll see the difference. You see baby burp cloths over here. And when you scroll down, all you see is baby burp cloths. So this is a relevant search and we want to try and rank for that. So diaper genie, no, baby shower, no, uh, Bert, oh, Bert's bees baby. I don't even know what that is. Um, but you can go through all of this stuff and just check that it's relevant, but make sure it's highly relevant. Even if you come down to about 10 words, it's fine. Use those 10 words. You can quickly go through this and you'll get some words like baby towel. Now you don't know if this is relevant or not, but you can have a quick look. And as you can see straight away, these are hooded towels. These are towels that go around baby. They're not burp cloths. They're not uh, what you're actually looking for. So again, I'd honestly go and elim eliminate that. And sometimes your thought process, and I've thought like this before, sometimes your th thought process is, oh, well, if they're buying a baby towel, they're likely to need a burp cloth. But with Amazon's algorithm, you are highly unlikely to rank for that because the baby towels, where people are actually searching for that and then they go ahead and buy that, are likely to rank higher within that search than you trying to target baby towels. So I would definitely say, make sure they are highly relevant to the product. Now you'll have baby essentials. Again, just look at what comes up in here. And if you think that it's not relevant, look at this. It's going to be hard to convert your customer from here. And you're going to be competing with uh, other people who are highly ranked in this space. They have managed to rank in that space somehow organically without targeting. And that's what you are going to be doing with these methods. So as you can see, we've now got burp cloth. You've got burp cloth girl. Uh, swaddle blanket could be something. Always check it, always check it. Now it's, I can see that it's not. So I'm just going to eliminate that. It's like a ghost blanket. Okay, so hopefully you understand what you need to do here. You just need to narrow down the words and get the most relevant words. Check it by going into the actual search term and seeing whether it's relevant for you. So how do you actually go about using these words to make sure it's relevant for you and people find your product with these words. So there's one thing you can do is go ahead and export this in the top right section of uh, Helium 10 over here. So you can send it to CSV Excel, to Frankenstein or to Clipboard. Now you can go ahead and do this yourself, but 
uh, Helium 10 gives you an awesome tool called Frankenstein and we're just going to go ahead and use that. So it's going to open it up in a different window. Frankenstein is also here on the left. So if you did want to open it from this side, you absolutely can. Um, now let's go over to Frankenstein and use these words. Now what it's done is put all of these words into Frankenstein, which is a keyword processor. This is a keyword processor. And what you use this for is to put your keywords into the back end of Amazon Seller Central. So when you're in your Amazon Seller Central account, Amazon will be asking you for keywords that you want to use. And I think currently there's a maximum of 200 characters or so. Um, you need to go ahead and check that because that changes all of the time. Um, and all you want to do is you want to remove the duplicates, otherwise it's just using up words. So you've got burp there three times already. You can see that. So you got burp there three times. Um, and you want to convert all of these to lower cases, add only spaces. That's absolutely fine. Uh, and you want to move, remove all the special characters. Um, all you do is click process. And as you can see, uh, Frankenstein uh, has processed the words for us with these results. There are a total characters of 1,162 and a total words of 174. Now, if you need to remove some of these, you probably won't need to in all honesty because by you, the time you've uh, removed all the keywords from here, you should have a decent amount of here, uh, here and you should have just enough to fit into the Amazon Seller Central backend. So if you do get to this stage and you've got more words, just get, a, get rid of the words at the end or you can get rid of the words at the end over here because they will have the lowest search terms. But you want to make sure they are all relevant. If they are all relevant, then great. Then just start to get rid of some of the ones on the end because you're not going to be able to fit them in. Amazon won't allow you to do that. And as you can see, the characters are being reduced. And the reason why Amazon only allows a certain amount of characters within the back end of Amazon Seller Central is so that customers can actually find the correct product that they're looking for. So you may end up with something that looks like this. And then all you need to do is put this into the back end. Now what we want to do is use these keywords, not just these, we want to use these to actually create this type of listing. So to create the title and the uh, bullet points over here and the description. Now, obviously you could just go ahead and do that yourself, but there is a quicker way to do that with Helium 10. Now Helium 10 has a listing builder that will help you create your listing. It's called Scribbles, as you can see here on the left. Let's go and zoom into that so you can see that. Scribbles, and all you need to do is, once you've done this part over here, is click on the Scribbles button. Now, this will load up scribbles and it will also take all of the words that you've just had in the um, in, in Frankenstein and it will put all of the words in here. What I would strongly advise is that you actually process these words again so you get all of the words because that section was only for Amazon's back end. Now we are looking at the actual listing which is the title and the bullet points over here and the description. So you want to make sure you go back and hit the process button again and then you want to click the scribbles button because then you will have all of the words that you want to use. Now the words that come up at the start are the words you want to be using the most. And as you can see over here, Helium 10 helps you to build your listing. Now let me show you exactly how this works. So the first thing you need to do is hit the apply button. And as you can see, Scribbles has processed the words and shown you that there are 168 words. And all we have to do is use the top 10 words or top five words as much as possible in the title, as long as it makes sense. Remember, you are selling this to a customer. They are going to be reading this. So I'm going to start off with baby, uh, baby burp cloths. And as you can see, it's ticking it, well, crossing it off and showing you how many times you've used this. Uh, so let's go uh, for girls. Remember, you need to make this make sense. Uh, baby burp cloths for girls. And if you use some of the words more than once, you will see, you know, we can't use the word next to each other. You will see it, is that it will come up again and again. But it's no use using it over and over again in the title. You don't actually need to do that. 
you need to use them in the bullet points. What you can also see is the amount of characters that you're allowed in the title. So Helium 10 is, uh, Scribbles is intelligent enough to know how much characters you're actually allowed within the title, the bullet points, and it shows you how many bullet points you're actually allowed. And you can also do the description section over here. So like I mentioned in the back end of Amazon Seller Central, the search terms only allow you 250 bytes. So I was, I think I was right. Um, you are allowed only 250 bytes. So once you've actually put some of this data in here, it will show you how many you've actually used and you are allowed to use. You've also got the description, description section where you are allowed 2000 bytes as well, which is about 2000 characters. Now, what else could you use Scribbles for? If you already have a listing on Amazon, you can actually import your listing into this and make changes. And then you can go ahead and make those changes in your Amazon Seller Central account and then update your listing. You could also save it and uh, check out the old ones that you created in the past in history as well. Now, if you did, you could actually export this out to text as well, but you could literally just hit the copy button over here and copy into your Amazon Seller Central listing. Now, the main thing I wanted to get through to you today really is when you're actually within Helium 10 Magnet is that you're only using words that are relevant to the product itself. So only use words that are relevant to the product. Product. Too many people waste using keywords that are irrelevant to their product and is not really going to make them any money or sales. Now, when they go ahead and put this into PPC, it's definitely going to waste money and you will see that super fast. Now, if you are going to use this for PPC, all you would need to do is copy all of these. So you go over here to the top right. Remember, we're in Helium 10 Magnet. All you do is copy this to Excel or copy this to clipboard, which is what I do. And I just go ahead and throw it into the PPC campaign. Now, if you are doing a PPC campaign, I recommend when you're first starting out that you start this off with phrases. Now, there is a lot more to learn in terms of which one you should use for PPC. Exact, phrase, broad. And if you want more videos on PPC, how to set it up, how to manage it and how to make it profitable, let me know in the comment section below and I'll go ahead and make that video for you. Hopefully this video was useful to you. If it was, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell notification so you know when I release these videos. I will see you in the next video.